Welcome back! Another video lesson, another new learning. Today, we are going to discuss Grade 10 Science Quarter 1 Module 3 Lesson. At the end of this video lesson, you are expected to explain the different processes that occur along the plate boundaries and name the landforms produced in each type of plate boundary. Interesting, right? So, what are you waiting for? Please keep on watching! We have learned in our previous video lessons that plate tectonic theory states that the Earth's outermost layer is fragmented into large and small plates. If you haven't watched our Module 1 and Module 2 lesson, check the links in the description box below. Now, let's talk about the processes and landforms along plate boundaries. Let's start with the first type of plate boundary. Remember, class, that when two tectonic plates move away from each other, divergent plate boundary occurs. Divergent plate boundaries mostly happen under the oceans. As plates pull away from each other, a vertical space that may extend deep down into the lowest layer of the crust is created. It is a reefed valley. The force of separation creates a tension zone. A shallow earthquake may happen with this plate movement. Plate divergence is believed to be a slow, continuous process. As the plates move away, the gap between them increases. While this happens, materials from the mantle may rise, filling up the space. These materials pile up near the tension zone, forming mountain-like structures called oceanic ridges. The filled-up space between the plates becomes a new seafloor. This process is known as seafloor spreading. On land, divergent boundaries cause the continental crust to stretch and thin. This can lead to rifting, where the crust splits and pulls apart, forming new features. So class, divergence of plates results in the creation of downfolded valleys called reefed valleys and underwater mountain ranges called oceanic ridges. At the tension zone, materials from the mantle may rise to the surface of the ocean floor, cools down and becomes new crust. Next, the second type of plate boundary is convergent plate boundary. This occurs when two tectonic plates move toward each other. In our previous lesson, you have learned that the convergence of plates takes between oceanic and continental plates, two oceanic plates, and two continental plates. Let's start what forms between oceanic and continental plates. As continental plate converges with an oceanic plate, the oceanic plate dives under the continental plate. The process of diving towards the mantle is called subduction. When the leading edge of the subducting plate reaches the mantle, it melts turning into magma which builds up a pressure, making it push the ground above it, forming at the surface of a volcano. At the oceanic plate, a depression called trench is formed along the boundary. Parallel to it is a series of volcanoes called Volcanic Island Arc. Simultaneous with the convergence, the ground may shake, and so we experience an earthquake. This shaking may disturb the water surface and make the water flip upwards to a certain height. This event is called tsunami. Next, when two oceanic plates converge, the denser plate subducts. Once its leading edge reaches the mantle, it melts into a magma, builds up a pressure that makes it push the ground above it, forming a volcanic island. At the collision zone, a crack called trench is formed. This depression could be the cause of the shaking of the ground or earthquake. At a water surface, the overriding plate may push a big amount of water causing it to flip upwards, forming a tsunami. Lastly, the convergence between two continental plates results to a landform called mountain ranges. Since both plates have the same densities, no plate subducts under the other. There is no volcanic formation. 
However, since the ground moves, a phenomenon called earthquake may be felt in nearby places. Now, we are down to our third plate boundary and that is transform fault boundary. Do you know class that this plate boundary is what everyone fears about these days? With this type of boundary, another geologic feature is formed and events happen. Remember class, this occurs when two plates slide past each other. Transform fault boundary is mostly found in oceans, but there are a few that traverse through continental crust. This is characterized by plates moving horizontally against each other, producing a crack called fault on the ground. The force the plates exert can break the rocks and other materials under the ground. The shaking usually ends abruptly. This is why it brings about strong earthquakes. The fault could swallow humans, cars, and buildings. Most faults do not totally close when the shaking ceases since the adjoining edges have already moved farther from each other. Do you know class that faults can extend for hundreds or thousands of kilometers? Example of this is the San Andreas Fault. And that's it class, those are the different processes and landforms that occur in the different plate boundaries. Before we summarize our lesson, let me see if you really understand the lesson. Let's answer this activity. A rift valley is formed simultaneously with which of the following type of plate boundary? What's your answer? The correct answer? is letter A, divergent. Next question. The tall landform created when two continental plates converge is called blank. The correct answer? Letter B, mountain ranges. Next question. How do plates move when we feel that the ground is shaking? The correct answer? Letter D, all of the above, toward each other, away from each other, and slide past each other. Question number four, which of the following happens when plates diverge or move away from each other? Letter B, new crust is produced because magma rises then cools off and turns into solid. Question number 5. It is otherwise known as underwater mountain. What do you think it is? The correct answer? Oceanic Ridge. Next one. It is a plate that dives down under a less dense plate during subduction. What do you call it? The correct answer, it's letter C, subducting plate. Question number seven, it is a chain of volcanoes developed parallel to a trench or a crack under the ocean. The correct answer, volcanic island arc. Number eight, when magma in the Earth's mantle develops a great pressure, the ground above it is pushed upward. If this happens in the middle of an ocean, what landform is produced? The correct answer, letter C, volcanic island. Question number nine. When a plate is denser, it subducts toward the mantle and forms magma. This process ends up in the formation of blank. The correct answer, letter A, trenches. Question number 10. There is no formation of volcanoes in the convergence between blank. The correct answer? Letter B. Two continental plates. Question number 11. It is the crack on the dry ground or plate caused by horizontal plate movement. The correct answer? Letter C. Fault. Now down to our last question. Most of the Philippine islands were once part of island arcs. This means that along with this boundary, there once existed two blank. 
The correct answer, converging continental plates. And good job, class! Comment down your scores! Now, let's sum it up. Divergent boundaries processes include seafloor spreading and continental rifting. Landforms include mid-ocean ridges and reef valleys. Next, convergent boundaries. Processes involve subduction and continental collision. Landforms include ocean trenches, volcanic island arcs, mountain ranges, and volcanic islands. And lastly, transform boundaries. Processes involve horizontal sliding of plates, and landform includes faults. These interactions at plate boundaries play a fundamental role in shaping the Earth's surface and are central to understanding geological processes like earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and mountain building. And that's the end of our lesson. I hope you learned something new today. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell button to keep you updated for our next video lesson. I'd love to hear where you're watching from, so drop a comment with your location and I'll give you a shout out in our next video lesson. Shout out to Calvin and shout out to Ain Baron. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned for our next video lesson. Bye!